The rumors that an extremely clear photograph of a triangular shaped aerospace vehicle of unknown origin that reportedly emerged out of the ocean will be released soon has been gaining steam lately. What will be the significance of this photo if it is to be released? Will it help to push the ball down the field for UFO disclosure? Only time will tell. In December 2017, Fleur One video, as well as the Gimbal video, were released showcasing unidentified aerial phenomena. And in March of 2018, the Go Fast video was released showcasing the same. Now, I'll be the first one to grant you that those videos are by no means smoking guns of otherworldly technology. If they were, the world would respond to them very differently. That is for sure. That being said, it has been reported by very credible people that there are higher resolution and longer versions of at least some of those videos. And the US Navy, as well as the Department of Defense, have confirmed they, they the experts, don't know what's presented in those videos even with all of their sensor data collecting mechanisms. It's a true mystery. And yes, I will appeal to authority when it comes to the United States Navy and Department of Defense. We simply don't know what's in those videos. Yet, they fly. And indeed, the former head of ATIP, Luis Elizondo, has gone on the record stating that Congress has seen highly classified data and information with a much higher level of fidelity regarding the existence of UAP than what the public has so far gotten a chance to take a look at. But is this where it all ends? Is the disclosure process over and this is all we get? It just ends with the bang of Congress getting classified UFO data and us plebeians being left in the dark. I personally do not think so. This show has only begun. I would argue that disclosure is a natural transitional process that was inevitable as soon as governments started attaining forensic evidence of our place in the universe and choosing to sequester that data away since they lacked, since they, they lacked and still lacked in my opinion, answers to the inevitable avalanche of questions they would receive from their constituents if it were to be made clear to them that we simply are not alone in the universe. So the reluctancy of the governments to talk about this has more to do with their lack of concrete answers than any other consideration, including national security and my humble opinion. Now, I'm not 100% certain we're not alone in the universe but it is my belief call me above 50 percent i despise the idea that belief needs to equal 100 percent certainty i don't think it does at least not in my world and of course forensic evidence of uap emerging is not the only component of the disclosure process recently congress has gotten briefed on uap the Navy has updated their reporting guidelines for when personnel see UAP. The UAP task force has recently been instituted and on and on the list goes. In other words, part of the disclosure process is how we as a civilization respond to UAP reality. The response we give to it is just as much a part of the disclosure process as the emergence of forensic evidence. Capiche? And I would argue this applies equally to other nations. And I look forward to that developing. My friends, this is just the beginning of the process. The best is yet to come. So now let's get into to the rumor that a clear picture of a triangular shaped aerospace vehicle emerging from the ocean will be released within due time. But before we do, let me give you some concise background on this alleged photo. Multiple senior U.S. officials reportedly told the debrief news outlet that two classified intelligence reports on UAP have been widely distributed to the U.S. intelligence community. 
contained in that, in, in that second report, which was released in the summer of 2020, is where the photograph of the triangular vehicle is apparently housed. It should be noted that everyone that the debrief spoke with said the photo of the triangular UAP was extremely clear. And Luis Elizondo has stated that that so-called photo may indeed be a still from a video. Speaking of which, let's check out the 509th conductor's recreation of this reported sighting and potential video capture of a triangular shaped aerospace vehicle of unknown origin. Now, let's say this truly happened. Let's say this is just real and it can be backed up by not only a highly trained aviator, but also a video capture from an iPhone within the cockpit, cockpit of an F-18 Hornet. Could that machine that was spotted be of human origin? The answer is of course it could be. But if this sighting truly happened and it is accurate, is it likely that this triangular vehicle is of human origin? I would say the answer is probably not. Here's an excerpt from the debrief.org from an article titled, Fast Movers and Transmedium Vehicles, the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. The debrief reached out to Steven Zaloga, co-author of the annual World Military Unmanned Aerial Systems Market Profile and Forecast and Senior Defense Analyst for the Teal Group in Virginia about the state of current or near future development of transmedium vehicles or systems. Zaloga indicated he was unaware of any past or present technologies that are close to being capable of transitioning between air and submersible travel. His quote, I have no idea whatsoever on objects able to cross the air water barrier, Zaloga said in an email. So yes, the, the chatter that this photograph will be getting released has been gaining steam. On February 19th, I sent out an inquiry on Twitter. I may have remembered Tom retweet saying he has reason to believe the infamous triangle UFO photo will be released at some point. Anyone recall if this is the case? Tom Rogan himself, a journalist for the Washington Examiner, chimes in and says, yes, I did. I respond, can you elaborate at all why you think this is the case? Rogan responds, because too many people sought for not to leak. Now, on February 19th, Tom Rogan was interviewed on the Washington Examiner YouTube channel by Suraj Hashmi, in which he further elaborates why he believes this infamous UFO triangle photo is going to be released as well as other material. Stuff is going to keep coming out because one of the things that's interesting is the pilots, people who've seen it in the military and being told never talk about it, otherwise you're going to lose your, you know, your rank, flight quals, yeah. you know, or whatever. Um, they're angry. So mm -hmm. they're talking now, people coming out of the woodwork and the intelligence community for people who work on other issues a lot of this stuff because it doesn't have some of the data analysis and how good we are at tracking x size object at x range um because it just has a photo or an image that's un of something unidentified that it isn't as highly classified as some of the other stuff and people have been sharing it very widely across their kind of intranet at right. works so that stuff will leak it at, at certain points yeah. um you know and it's going to keep happening you know because the analysts who have access to the information, um, I think, come to the obvious conclusion this is something kind of cool and potentially, you know, earth shattering. What Tom Rogan is talking about is, in my opinion, definitely part of the disclosure process. You're living it, Machacho. I'd also like to say that regarding what, what Tom Rogan expressed in that clip, it can be likened to having a, a huge bag of seeds and walking for miles and miles and every so often throwing bunches of them this way and that way. And then weeks later, desiring the collection of all these seeds to ensure that, n that not even a single one of them sprouts. That wouldn't be a very practical endeavor. By, by, by weeks later, birds might have, might have eaten some of them and pooped them out m hundreds of miles away. Wind might have taken some to some other places. It's just not practical that you could collect them all. 
So you plant those seeds and eventually at least one of them is going to sprout. Well, the United States government has been acquiring sensor data of UAP for a very, very long time. And though their intention was for a very, very long time to conceal what they know about this reality, it looks like uh, some of those seeds are about to sprout and there ain't a darn thing anybody in the world can do about it. Not the least of which is the United States government or any government on the planet. As time continues and more people within the intelligence community are privy to information solidifying the reality of UFOs being unknown in origin and having flight characteristics not consistent with known aircraft, and that's putting it lightly, frankly, more people are going to start leaking information. And I'm not necessarily talking about classified information. This is a real world scenario that is impacting brave men and women in uniform and has been for decades. It's time to be a more rational civilization. You know, it's funny. People often like to say that if any government had smoking gun evidence of UFO reality, it would have leaked. Well, stone the crows, whatever that means. I just wanted to say it. It's leaking at least in the sense that true insiders are openly talking about what the U.S. government knows about this presence. I mean, it started to leak on December 16th, 2017. Have you been listening to what Lou Elizondo has been saying? How about what former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid has been saying? How about what former Chairman of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence Marco Rubio has been saying about UFOs? How about what former CIA director John Brennan has stated on account of, of his perception of UFOs and so forth? And on and on the list goes. Of course, the reality is these kind of leaks have been happening for decades, if you even want to call them that. Though, the official release of UFO gun camera footage from the U.S. government is indeed a first. The thing about it, though, is that people have been laughing at these leaks for decades. Consequently, this is why this great secret is easier to keep than you'd like to imagine. Good old Giggle Factor has done a lot to keep the floodgates from opening. But times be a-changing, as they always do, and the floodgates be a-opening, as they are. Here's a beautiful exchange between George Knapp and Lou Elizondo, taken from Coast to Coast AM on December 20th, 2020. In this exchange, they both underscore the reality of the transition. I should say the beginning stages of that transition that we are currently going through to which will lead, in my opinion, to a completely different landscape than what we see now. In other words, a new world. Elizondo states, I can't imagine a time in history. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm young, but I don't know a time that we ever had this conversation before like this so openly and the media is willing to report on it and the American people are willing to have the conversation about this. George Knapp responds, I'm right there with you. I never thought I would see this in my lifetime. It's just an amazing amount of progress made in three years. And again, I never thought I'd see it. And here's a really insightful tweet by Christopher, the tipping points come when every serious journalist and politician worldwide can run with the UAP issue. This has already started due to journalists like Tim McMillan, Brian Bender, and Tom Rogan, and politicians like Marco Rubio and Warner. And my response to his tweet is, I think this will happen as crazy as it seems. And I wrote that because I actually believe that it will. And here is an amazing quote taken from Kevin Randall's blog titled A Different Perspective, in which... David Marler, the premier expert on triangular-shaped UFOs, who wrote the book, Triangular UFOs, an estimate of the situation. In this quote, he chimes in on the proposition that a clear photograph of a triangular-shaped UFO is soon to be 
released or leaked. Dave Marler told me, I am not as enthusiastic about the 2018 photo of the cube so much as the purported 2019 photo of an equilateral triangle with three large lights at each point. The latter depicts the quintessential image of these triangular UFOs that I have investigated. Despite variations in the reports, the vast majority over decades have been those with three large lights. Coupled with that is the description of the triangle in 2019 exiting the ocean and displaying transmedium flight, i.e. sea to air. I am told through sources that this photo will most likely be officially released in due course. Me, in my opinion, don't just live in interesting times. We live in the most interesting times of human history. Of course, that is subjective. I would have liked to have been around when the pyramids were being built, but then again, that would have taken a long time. What's going on right now is a transition that is only going to speed up more and more. Shall we call it the quickening, the shift? Call it whatever you like. But I think it's absolutely real because I think it's predicated on science, not on fantasy. The U.S. military and all of their vast array of sensors all throughout the world, including low Earth orbit and even more distant than that, has been collecting data on these mysterious machines for decades. And I believe there are elements not only within the United States government, but in other governments that don't have a hunch or don't suspect that we are not alone. They know that we are not alone. And that is an exciting time for this to all be coming to the fore now. And I know there are people watching this who said, oh, you're crazy. You're just misinterpreting everything. You're just, you just want to believe. You, you just you want this to be real. So you interpret everything through your lens. And maybe you don't want it to be real. And maybe you, you interpret everything through your lens. Because who wants to be wrong? Look, I'm not 100%. What I'm telling you is that my analysis, looking at the vast picture and not just one little thing here, one little thing there, is that you better have a copious amount of popcorn in your cupboard. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Thank you so much. Appreciate everyone who watched this entire video all the way through. If you'd like to support me, you can check out the links below. I have a Patreon. I have a YouTube membership. I sell t-shirts. Or, or, you can just slap a like on this bad boy and I'll appreciate it so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.